Hey guys, it's me, Dag. Anyways, I moved and shit like that. And uh, there was a little debacle with the utilities over at the previous app apartment. And uh, you're about to find out why in these uh, three phone calls I have coming up. And uh, I thought they were interesting and funny enough to make a vidya out of. And what they serve the most as, as a proof that um, I did the best I could to delete dis, to delete this bitch's utilities on her behest. That way, you know. So, you know, if her angry dad comes knocking at the door and says, hey, she got a bill for 500 fucking dollars. Why'd you do that for? I'm gonna say, listen, buddy, it's all on record and recordings, okay? It's on the fucking YouTubes, and here it is. Oh yeah, real quick, before you listen to the calls, um, there's three of them. It goes from funny, not funny, and then pretty fucking funny. So listen to them in that order, because I don't feel like I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to mix the two spectrum calls and try to make it sound like it's one because I've spent about um, 11 hours editing this video already. So it's just easier for me to talk about it so you know what the fuck you're doing all right bitch all right love you Welcome to Spectrum. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Please hold. Thank you for calling Spectrum. My name is Quentin. I'm going to ask those speaking with. Hi, my name is Douglas Crabtree. Um, I'm calling because for the last two years I have been using um, internet service that is in my roommate's name, although she has not lived here and I am moving. This is my last month here. My last day here will be May 31st. Well, so, sorry, sir, but sir, to make changes on the account, I would need her to call. If it's to deactivate the service, can she you, would need to call. Can you call her and tell her that? Because I haven't heard from her. The last several times I've texted her, she has not responded. And I had an address for her parents. And I'll try to find that as well and contact them to contact her. Mm -hmm. That way she doesn't get this bill and is mad at me for running up the bill. Understood. Because everything's in her name, so. Well, that is nice of you. So is there's nothing I can do at all? When it comes to deactivating service, I would need to speak to the actual account holder. Okie dokie. Um, so you can, if you got one second, can I try to find her parents? I might have her parents' number. Would you be able to um, use that number as well if you need to? Um, I'm sorry? Yeah, sure. All right. Sorry. But just to let you know, but just to let you know that I am video repair, not internet. So I may have to transfer you to them anyway, just so that they can schedule the disconnect. Well, I don't, I mean, that's fine. I don't really care if it gets disconnected or not, to be real honest. I just need to do my part. I'm not going to be living here or receiving her bills for that. I understand, sir. I understand. Let me just transfer you over to the internet department and they can take care of you. All right. Appreciate it. No problem.
Thank you for calling Spectrum. This is Christine. Give me a few minutes, please. Let me just pull up the account. Right now, with whom am I speaking with? My name is Douglas Crabtree. Okay. So, already have the account up. How can I help you today? Um, I've been paying this bill in her name, but she has not lived here. Mm hmm And I've, I'm moving on the 31st. So. No move. Meaning you're moving out of this address? Is that it? Yes, correct. She hasn't lived here in the last right. two years, but I've kept her. I've kept the internet because mm -hmm. I've used it and I've just been paying the bill. I see. All right, okay. Now, what would you like us to do on this service? Um, um, I would like you to send me the final bill, if possible, to my new address so I don't run up her utility history or something like that. Okay. Now, you'll be moving out when? Um, 31st of this month? Yeah, 31st of this month is my last day here. Okay. What is the new service address, please? Um, I will not have um, service with Spectrum at my new address. Mm -hmm. Sir, could I get your last name again, please? My last name or hers? Yeah. Um, your last name. Okay. My name is Douglas Crabtree, C-R-A-B-T-R-E. -E. Thank you. Okay. So, Mr. Crabtree, could you give me just at least a couple of minutes? Okay. I'll talk to our building team, okay, so that it can have them forward the final bill. So just stand the line, please, okay? Give me a minute. Hi there, Mr. Crabtree. Hello, how are you? Hi there, I'm doing all right. This is uh, Christian and Billing. Uh, so I I was informed of the situation. I see the note here in the system saying that uh, you're moving out and want the final bill forwarded to your new address. Yes, uh, I am in the process of doing that at the moment. Just give me a minute to pull it up. I, she just put you through to me uh, just so I could talk you through that process. Should that be okay since I'm not her, Colin, the one who has the account? Because I haven't heard from her, and I don't want to run. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. That that shouldn't be a problem. And she used to live here, and I took over her lease, and um, I just kept that um, Internet in her name. I was paying the bill with my own check, so I didn't really think anything of it. Sure. And, yeah, I mean, if anything – if, if it does end up giving me an error message and not allowing me to change it, um, I mean, all you'd have to do is, you know, have her send you that final bill uh, or just be in contact with you because uh, despite – I know you probably want to have a tangible copy of the bill, um, but as far as paying it goes, you know, you can always just do that over the phone, online. You know, there's a number of ways, but uh, especially since it's only that last one, but I will do my best to get it changed. Uh, sometimes it doesn't allow it though. I don't. I don't know if she, I last time, last several times I've texted her about anything. I haven't heard anything back, so I don't know. Oh, oh, so you're not even there anymore. I'm. She hasn't lived here in, for two years, but we were always in contact. But however, so it's bad timing for her to ghost on me because I need to let her know that I'm not. <laughs> she has this bill in her, <laughs> which I've been using, and that's fine. But we should have just switched it over back when she was talking to me. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's no big, it's no big deal. I just wanted to make sure I understood the situation there. Okay. Uh, I just didn't want to screw up her utility history or something like that. I need to make sure that the service stops after this month. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so so here's what you should do is um I see you are billed up until the fifteenth. Uh, sixteenth. Sorry. So what I would do is call right when you receive that bill and cancel service. So is that even going to be possible since I'm not her, or should I just say my name You know what I mean? Oh, to cancel it, yeah. Uh, I mean, they're going to ask you to verify that, especially <laughs> they're going to hear that you're not a um, Well, you never uh, know. This, but, is, this is 28, never know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I didn't want to make that comment, but yeah. <laughs> I'll make it for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I got to work on being more PC. Huh. She, um, I haven't heard back from her, so I can't, I can't have her. Okay, no, I, don't, no, I, don't I, I understand. Me. I don't want to get pissed at me come looking for me because I ran up your utility history or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I would try to cancel it. Worst thing that happens is they tell you that the account holder needs to call back, and because, you know, technically that is how it's supposed to be, 
um, in which case, you know, you would have to get in contact with her and have her cancel it. Uh, but it really just depends on who you get. I, that's my only guess. So as of right now, we can't put a stop on the service as of May 31st? Yeah, I can't do that in forward. If we were to cancel you, it would be right now. Well, I'll try to remember to call on May 31st then. All right. Well, is there anything else I can do for you tonight, sir? Um, if it's possible, you could call and leave her a voicemail. Uh, so I, I can't actually make outbound calls. All right. I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. Yeah, you're fine. What What actually is your number? Um, because I have a home phone number here listed. So if they do attempt to call her, uh, w what number is that? Well, last number I have for her, or do you want my uh -huh. cell phone number? Uh, whatever number you think would be on the account. The last number I have for her is... Okay, yep, that's the correct number that we have on file as well. So, um, if they were to have any inquiries about uh, the account, that would be the number they call against. Um, however, they wouldn't call that number until the account becomes past due and the bill hadn't been paid. Okay, last uh, question. If I call and say my name's and I go to return <laughs> the equipment, do I got to show them I'm when I return the equipment? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've never actually had to deal with that in person. Uh, you know, I'm just over the phone. Uh, but I believe they're just going to ask you the same information that I did, the address uh, and the phone number on the account. So you can verify that. You should be good. All right. Appreciate your time, sir. Yeah, best of luck, sir. I wish you the best, and you have a great rest of your night. Welcome to AEP's Customer Solutions Center. Good evening. My name is Misty. May I have your name, please? Hi, my name is Douglas Crabtree. Thank you, and how can I help today? I moved into my home two years ago, and I knew the person who lived here, and I kept the power in her name, and I am moving. So I'm going to try. I'm trying to um, discontinue this service as in the end of this month. I don't know if that's even possible though, because I'm not her. Okay. I mean, if you have the account information, I can get that done for you, Ms. Crabtree. Um, may I? Do you have the account number or the social security number? Yeah, the account number is. All right, and her name. Thank you. All right, and may I have the address, please? All right, thank you. And may I have a phone number where we can contact her regarding any service-related issues on this account? To contact her. Um, <laughs> the reason I'm calling and not hers is because I haven't heard from her. Oh, okay. But All I right. And try to find the number I had at one point. The last number I had for her is... Thank you. All right, and you said you're wanting to close out the, the account as of what date? The last day I'll be here will be May 31st. All right, and where where should we send the final bill to? My, my new address um, is... All right, so we have the order to stop service in her name as of um, May 31st. All right, anything else we can help with today? Um, no, I'm surprised you was able to do it. I thought she would have to call, so that's a good thing. Yep, as long as we have the account information, we are able to do what's needed. You can respond to this system using your voice or the touchtone keypad. Starting with the area code, please tell me the 10-digit phone number associated with your account, or say, I don't have an account. Uh, that's not going to work because my number is now associated with my account, and I'm calling about someone else's crap. I think you said, I don't have an account. Is that right? Nope, that is not right. I'm actually servicing two accounts right now. Sorry, I think you said, I don't have an account. Is that right? No, Please I say just it. said that's not right. All right, let's continue. So that I can serve you better, please say or enter the five-digit zip code of your service address. <laughs> Thanks. Now, in a few words, please tell me what you're calling about. You can say things like, make a payment, or, my cable's not working. Okay, now tell me why you're calling today. I'm calling today to cancel 
a girl's internet who ghosted me, who I was using her internet at my old apartment. She ghosted me. Okay, please hold while I transfer you to a technical support representative. To a human, thank you. Thank you for calling Spectrum. My name is John. May I have your name and address? All right, thank you. Now, do you have the phone number that is associated with the account? What account is that? Because I have one, but I'm not calling about my account, silly. Yeah, do you remember the account number, the phone number of that old account? All right, thank you. Let me try to pull it up here. Okay, I got it in here. What seems to be the problem? Dang, the background noise is going to screw up my recording for my YouTube channel. But anyways, the problem seems to be, my friend, that I moved out of that address. The person who set that account up, um, I haven't heard from her in like six months. She goes to me hard, dog. So we should probably cancel her stuff because I'm a concerned citizen. And I respect a ghost. So if she needs to not know me anymore, at least I can do is cancel her stuff so she don't have a bad utility history. Okay. So you want to disconnect the old account. That will be the retention department. So I'm going to transfer you to them, okay? Thank you for calling. My name is Walter. Who am I speaking with today? Hi, my name is Douglas Crabtree. I'm going to have to know, Mr. Crabtree. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm disconnecting service at my previous address, but it is not in my name. Okay, and is, uh, are you an authorized user on the account here to make any changes? I don't believe so. This was uh, listed as a roommate on my lease. Um, I took over her apartment, kept it on in mind, well, kept it on, kept paying the uh, bill because I was the one using the Internet. But I haven't heard from her in like six months, so I need her to cancel this. I'm trying to do it on her behalf so she doesn't get some kind of bad uh, utility history or something like that. Let me check and see if you are listed on the account here. Um, can you give me a phone number affiliated with the account so I can get it looked up? I'm not on the account, but I'll give you the number. It is... Uh, and what's the name on the account? Her name is... And can you verify the address there for me? Alright, so I'm looking at it now. Oh, okay, so yeah, no, no one is listed on here. So, I mean, if, if there's any any way to, um, you know, get in contact with her, you know, you would actually have to have her call and cancel the service out because, I mean, with uh, you or no one else being listed as an authorized user, um, uh, you know, unfortunately, there's no way we can actually make any changes here without her consent. The only way you're going to get her consent is if you call her and she answers because she does not respond to me in any way. I have no idea why. Um, well, unfortunately, this is not a outbound center, so, you know, we can't actually call her. I mean, uh, when she actually, you know, receives the bill in the mail, you know, some form of notification, possibly by mail or by uh, email, what have you, whatever we have on file, you know, uh, you know, any, any further changes or, you know, right before official cancellation, uh, she will be notified. She'll be notified of a delinquent account that she won't pay. She's not going to pay it, I promise. Well, she might. Who knows? Anyways, I done my part. I moved out of there. I took over her lease over two years ago, kept it on, and paid the bill with my checks because that was easier at the time. And so, yeah, anything that you would suggest, I can't get a hold of her. She doesn't respond to me. Uh, well, unfortunately, if, if she's not going to you know, respond to anyone, the service is going to remain active on the account until it comes to a uh, systematic uh, you know, disconnect due to non-pay. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, we actually don't make outbound calls to customers, um, you know, and there's nothing anyone else can do on the account that's just under her name. All righty. Hey, I've done my part, right? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's you being a good friend here, so I'm sure that's, uh, uh, you know, respected or at least should be, you know, in her in her regard. But, you know, I appreciate you for calling in, man. So I'm not going to make any changes to the account here. I'll leave everything as is. Uh, but I appreciate you for calling in.
Let me drop off this box. What's the end? Um, it will. Yep. Looks like she hasn't closed the account yet. I don't believe she has. Okay. I haven't heard a word from her in months. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay what it says for the month of May. So the next bill I get, go on I'll her. Divide it by the days it says on there, and I'll pay May and pay it. But I she I tried to call to get her to for them to cancel it, uh -huh. and they said they ain't gonna do it because it ain't her calling. I said, well, I haven't heard from her. She won't respond to me. So. All right, man. So I yeah, just figured yeah. I'd drop the box off, so that's not more charges for her down the road. Yeah, yeah. She'll. Uh, you'll, I don't know if you want to send her like an email or something. You got to call and close that out because it, it's not going to fall on you at all. It's in yeah, it's name, not man. my name. It's in her right. name. So. I've been waiting to hear back from her. There you go. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Right. That guy was probably like, "Dude, I don't care about your backstory." But little did he know, I was narrating into my camera. You know, that guy didn't even scan that box <laughs> to see if it was the barcode match the service address that I gave him. So whenever you get done with your account at Spectrum or Time Warner, um, if you're pissed at your neighbor, you can just <laughs> you can just give your neighbor's address. Who knows? They might hit a button and cut their internet off. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go. <laughs> I gotta go in rectally. It's gotta be done. <laughs>